Um, all of uh, Mariah's family is in Florida. All of my family is in Utah. We met in Colorado because we're the only moms treating our kids actively with cannabis that are willing to speak out about it. Everybody else is in hiding. Uh, you know, we've both been on CNN. We both have been on ABC, NBC. We try to educate people. My child's been in remission for over a year, and he was given a death sentence. He was diagnosed with leukemia at two and a half, and he's going to be four tomorrow. He was only given a 5% chance to live 24 hours. Say hi, Landon. Say hi, please. wasn't going to make it and you know that we needed to up the oxycontin, up the morphine and everything. A family member sent us some information on cannabis and asked us, I know this sounds crazy, just please look into it. We were looking into everything to save his life, to get him through chemo. When he started it, his counts immediately took off. He started improving. I was able to wean his high doses of morphine and oxycontin. In two weeks he was off of all narcotics. And he went into remission, and he's been there ever since, and he's doing very well. And we've refused chemo for 10 months now. And what was the form of, uh, what's the dose of the cannabis that you're treating with? Landon takes Charlotte's Web, which I'm sure you're familiar with. And he also takes one of the Stanley Brothers high THC strains. He takes 1,000 milligrams of THC a day and 500 milligrams of CBD a day. Okay. Is that sort of like, I, I, I read some reports and I tried to follow up on them, but basically like a liquid. Yes, it's a concentrated uh, oil. A large amount of cannabis. Yep, in a concentrated so, oil. It, but does it have to be um, sort of prepared in a certain way? Yes, it's prepared with food grade alcohol. And, uh, you know, they, through the process, they concentrate it down into a, a, a liquid that is then way more potent and you get way more cannabinoids in each dose than you would by smoking it. You know, like he said, oh well, you know, we don't smoke the opium plant. My kid's not smoking pot. He's two years old at diagnosis. He's taking cannabis oil and it's helping him. He should not be forced to be on Oxycontin and morphine when there's other ways out there. Landon had so many complications from Oxycontin and morphine that I'm still trying to repair it. But that was just for, um, that was... For pain. pain. That was just for pain. But that was going along with the, basically the death sentence. Exactly. Right? They were just using that. We're going to make him comfortable. He was not comfortable on those drugs at all. And, uh, can I get your name? Sierra Riddle. And, and his name is Landon. And Sarah, do you have a website or something? We do. It's offerhopeforlandon.com. And our e offer hope for Landon. And our email is teamlandon at yahoo.com. Jump. Okay. And that was all for? Offer. Offer. Offer hope for Landon. Okay. All right. Well, th thank you very much for telling us that story. Yeah, no, thank you. Okay. Are we I'm burning up. Hi. 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 This is, this is Dahlia. Her website is www.daliastrong.org. Dahlia has been on oil in conjunction with her chemotherapy. She did not see tumor shrinkage until starting the oil. Uh -huh. Every study done in vitro and in vivo shows that it inhibits the growth of and kills cancer cells. On top of being a safer and more effective anti-emetic, as you know, they vomit non-stop the entire time they're on treatment. As you can tell with her, her loss of appetite and nausea and vomiting has completely subsided since starting cannabis. You know, morphine is dangerous and deadly. It comes from the opium plant, but we're not going into hospitals and ripping it out of the hands of the suffering. Uh, cocaine is used in surgery all day, every day, and we're not taking it out of hospitals. The supposed fear of abuse by some does not justify denying its medicinal benefits to the suffering babies and millions of suffering around the nation. And how difficult was it to get on the path of using it for medical treatment for, for cancer? It was very difficult. In fact, when we were in Memphis and she came out of a surgery through her school, and she could not be given any pain medication because the medications available today that are FDA approved are so dangerous that they are deadly, especially in a baby as sick as she was, where it's a respiratory stress. She could be given no pain medicine. And I knew right then and there that when laws 
create that kind of suffering and they perpetuate it, something is wrong with the law, not the people who are trying to change them. And from Florida, we went to Memphis for treatment, from Memphis we went to Colorado. She's never done as well as she has on this treatment as she has since she's been on cannabis. And what do they have, uh, what do you suggest for other parents that might be going into the same situation that have heard that their kids have done? You know, fight for the laws to change. It's not loving, caring parents who would do anything to save their children who need to change. It's the laws. But in the time being, do whatever you have to do to save your children and to save their quality of life. If they're suffering, don't let them suffer. If they're dying, try to save them. And so does Memphis, Tennessee, do they have a, a doctors or a hospital that uses cannabis? Right, so we actually started off in Florida at several dis different hospitals. We were then sent to St. Jude in Memphis, Tennessee, where they also would not discuss cannabis because it's not a legal state. Um, we had to relocate to Colorado where she's isolated all day, every day. She's hypothermic. She has neuropathy from chemotherapy. And she cannot leave the house. It snows there eight, nine months of the year. She has no family and friends to interact with. So as much as I love the idea of saving her life, first and foremost, I also have to consider her emotional and mental well-being and that she has no family or friends, no interaction. And it's just not fair. She deserves that three years old to be home with the love and support of her family and friends. So, and, and your family is here in Florida? Correct. Okay. And we're down here for this, to show our support, to speak on behalf of, the, you know, the opposition is very uneducated. And anyone who is educated on this, who has been forced to be educated on it, uh, listens to the opposition and it makes no sense. So you're hoping that maybe after November 2014 you can, you can move down here? Absolutely. We need to be home with family. I'm, I'm the mama and I'm with her in Colorado. My husband and family are here in Tampa. We're going to get through this whether we can get to come back or not. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for, for your statement. I appreciate the time. Thank you. Can you tell me the website one more time? Sure. It's www.daliastrong.com. And that's your child's name, Dahlia? Her name is Dahlia, so it's D-A-H-L-I-A. Hi, Dahlia. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, appreciate it. My name is Renee Petro, and this is my son, Brandon Petro. This is Brandon before he got sick, and this is Brandon now on lots of pharmaceutical meds that are causing more havoc than any good whatsoever. Um, he has a rare, rare sort of diagnosis of fires, febrile infection-related epilepsy syndrome. Um, we also have a Facebook page called Brandon the Brave, and you can also go on to www.fireschildren.org. And um, Brandon's been fighting this battle for about five years now. He is on several anti-epileptic medications and it does nothing. He continuously seizes, um, wants to commit suicide because these pharma meds cause him to want to kill himself. And there is no other option but medical cannabis. There, there is no if, ands, or buts about it. And not just CBD, whole plant. So they need to be able to utilize the whole plant. Anywhere from small to old, cancer to epilepsy to our wounded warriors. Now you're, you live in Florida? I do, I live in, in so Libya. Have, have you been able to treat your, your son with, with uh, cannabis? I am not treating him with cannabis, but I am treating him with hemp oil, which is legal in 50 states. So he's on hemp oil. So that's like cold press from the seeds? Is that what, uh, how they make, or some of it's made? So it's, it's something to that effect. I mean, it, it, it's high CBD. Um, and it, it does basically what the cannabis plant does only to to a certain extreme, and he is doing better on it. Uh, he's functioning better. He's uh, not as um, he's definitely more alert, but but again, that's all that I can deal with right now is just a hemp oil. Because if I try and go the criminal route, they'll put me in jail. So have you thought about going to another state? Absolutely, but but I'm not gonna stop until we we have it legal here. Um, if I have to move, I will. I'll take Brandon and, and go, but I can't just uproot my my family. It's all about power and numbers and. 
people just have to speak up because I think, and I've said this before, is medical marijuana or marijuana in general is going to hit everybody's door one day. Somehow, anyone, I mean, we're, we just need it. Well, some people could say it's hit everybody's door in high school already, so... But we're not talking not about use, smoking it. Why there not are, use one that's designed for a medicinal purpose? Right, you know? right, right, and that's far better than all these pharmaceutical meds that they just want to prescribe to our children that are really technically not FDA approved for children, mm -hmm. but yet they still utilize well, it. There's a lot of debate, not, I don't know about a lot of debate, but there's this question about it. They bring it up and regarding the children, the first thing I think of is, well, so you're not going to give medicine to some people because they're a certain age? Just the argument really seems to fall flat on its face. Well, but um, they do it with all the pharmaceutical meds that's not tested in children, but they still give it to our children. Yes. Knowing fully well that the, 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 the side effects, you know, from suicide to tremors to agitation to... There's hundreds of side effects to possibly cancer. So I do not support CBD only legislation. I am for whole plant cannabis. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate, appreciate your time. And good thank luck you. With your son. Thanks.